Martin Tuck here, and I'm at the beautiful Turning Stone Resort in Verona, New York. We're doing a golf school here. We just wrapped up the day. The lads are sitting over there having a cold beer. And I said, gentlemen, what tip would you like me to do? And the one fellow said, Martin, why don't you explain the primer procedure, the practice swing, and how it's going to help take you from skills you're developing on the range to performing better when you get on the golf course. I thought that's a great tip. First thing, I want to talk about the driver. Practice swings with a driver, you guys and gals out there in golf, in golf pass and golf world. Think about this. The driver isn't intended to hit the ground. I can't tell you how many times I see people take practice swings with their driver and scuff the driver along the ground. The driver is the only club in the bag that's meant to always be swung through the air and only hit a little bit of the tee and the golf ball and that's it. Now naturally, once in a blue moon, you'll see a really skilled player hit driver off the deck. But for the most part, it is a club that we are going to swing through the air only. So a lot of the times, I like to hold the golf club a foot or so off the ground and then really feel like it's just going to pass through the air because I want to feel like I can make that swing unencumbered, collect the ball, hopefully hit a nice one down and play. So thinking about priming, what is priming? Well, priming is an event where you see a tour player might be doing something very kind of freaky, deaky looking on the tee where they're working on a behavior and you go, man, what are they doing? Well, they're putting in a feeling that they've worked on in the range and they'll do that behind the golf ball. I am a few yards, th two yards behind the golf ball, somewhat on the target line, and I'm going to put in a priming feel. Most of the golfers we see zip it inside and have to come over the top. So why not prime something different? Prime something that maybe gets a little bit more vertical. Now the club can go behind you and then you can unwind an inside out strike. So to prime that swing. Remember, we're not going to touch the grass. Hearing that swoosh, now let's walk in and hit a shot. We just primed it. Aim the club face where you want the golf ball to start. Organize your feet. You've just primed it. Let's see how we do. And I'll take that one every day. So golfers, don't hit the ground with your driver. And when you've got a feel that you're working on in the range, prime that feel really quickly. Just a couple second practice swing, priming swing behind the ball. Put that feeling in. Take your breath. Walk up and hit your best shot. Martin Chuck signing off from the beautiful Turning Stone Resort. This place is gorgeous. Kind of by Syracuse, New York. If you find yourself in here, in this area, come play it. And if you, if you just want to come play it, make a vacation out of it. It is awesome. Have a great day. Post those questions and comments down below, and I'll get to as many as I can. Thanks for watching. Hey, gang. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Remember, hit the like button. If you're not a member, click subscribe and share it with your friends. And don't forget, we've got a lot of elevated, awesome content at TS+. You can check out that link below.